It was designed to operate for just three years, and it managed to survive five times that long. But Russia's Mir space station is about to take the long fall back to Earth. It will be the largest man-made object ever to plummet from orbit. Launched in February 1986, it became the first orbiting craft in which men and women occupied a home above Earth more or less permanently. Over the years, it has suffered a variety of mishaps, including a collision with an unmanned cargo ship and an onboard fire. Last December, Russian engineers briefly lost control when its batteries went dead. But through it all, Mir kept circling, as one reporter described it, resembling a favorite old car that spent more time in the shop than on the road. Russia's lower house of parliament, the state Duma, even passed a resolution urging the Russian government to somehow save the craft. But it wasn't to be. Moscow's meager space program just cannot afford the expense. One of the cosmonauts who served aboard Mir, Sergei Zaryotin, said it's been there 15 years and everything has to end. It has been declared airtight, its temperature levels normal, and the flow of electricity from its solar battery stable. So, next Thursday, Russian space officials will send an 11-minute pulse up to the aging spacecraft to send Mir on its final journey to a watery grave in the Pacific east of New Zealand. Most of it will burn up as it strikes Earth's atmosphere, but about 1,500 fragments, up to 44 tons of debris, may actually reach Earth. Japan lies on the flight path, and officials there will tell residents to stay indoors for the 40 minutes it's expected to be in Japanese skies. While assuring the world all will go as planned, the Russians have taken out $200 billion in insurance 